TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. In our last tutorial, we talked about printing an invoice in QuickBooks, and we just went through that a little bit. There's another option when it comes to printing, and this is an option I want to talk to you about. And a lot of this thinking goes based on whether or not you're a small or a big business. If you're a big business, you might want to get a dot matrix printer that prints out forms that you can easily print to. But as a smaller business myself, where I don't have as many invoices as a, a, a company that might sell a lot of products or services during the day, I tend to email my invoices because it saves on the cost of mailing them and it gets it right to the client and it just makes it easier from my point of view. So depending on the size of your business, you might approach invoicing a little bit different based on that. But what I do is I email my invoices. So what I do is when I have an invoice, instead of printing it out, I literally come up here and I click on the drop down and I save the invoice as a PDF. And the PDF can be given any name. Now the reason you send it out as a PDF is because typically people that get PDFs are able to open that. The drawback is I'm sort of putting it on my clients to open that invoice and then if they need to, to print it out. So I'm sort of putting a little of the work on them. But my experience has been in this day and age, it's not that big a deal. So if I want to save this as a PDF, all I have to do is give it a name. I'm going to call it Pest Test PDF and I'm just going to save it on the desktop of my computer and I'm going to click Save. Now one of the main reasons I do this personally is because I send these out by email and I use a tool called Zendio, Z-E-N-D-I-O, that tracks email. I'm not going to get into Zendio much more than that, but basically what it tells me is when I send an invoice out to a client and attach it as a PDF, I know whether or not my client has got it. If you email it without doing that, you might need to follow up because, you know, with spam filters, things of that nature, sometimes you need to follow up just to make sure they got it and it didn't hit the wrong folder or wasn't deleted by accident. So it's just an extra step. My tool assures me that they got it. So there are some pros and cons to sending things via email. You'll also notice that there's an email option here, which I'll address in another tutorial and tell you why in the past I didn't like it and now why I think it's a little bit better. But for now, I just want to show you again, if you want to print this invoice as a PDF so you can email it, that's how you do it. You just save it and give it a unique name. Typically what I'll do, just for the record, is I'll take the name of the company, I'll type it out to save it as the name of the company, and then I'll just type in the invoice number at the end. So Hillary's Ice Cream space 2004 is what I would normally save the PDF as. My name is Tony Holowitz, and I want to thank you for being here. Have a great day.